put Bella up on the table. If you're going to have a Labradoodle for 10 or 15 years, it might be a good idea to invest in a table. It gives them a sense of business when you pick them up off the floor, and they get uh, much better at being still if they're in a space that they always go to for being brushed out. So we're going to show you how to do a little bit of brushing to maintain your Labradoodle between groomings. Bella has, Bella has a few mats in here, so we're going to start with a brush. And you want to make sure when you have a brush that the tines on your brush come up and bend over. If you have straight tines, what happens when it hits the hair is it just glides over the top and it doesn't dig down in there and get those mats out. So you want to make sure that your tines are bent on your brush. And you want to start at the bottom and pull all the hair up out of the way. And you want to brush so that you can see a line all the way down to the skin between each layer and go all the way around their foot. Each time I brush, I see a line that's down to her skin. So you make sure you're getting everything. And you just slowly brush it out of your hand and work your way up. All the way around. If you encounter a mat, which she has a couple up here we're going to get to, you can do a couple of different things. You'll feel, you'll start to hear it. And you'll also feel that it's not, you'll be able to feel the little tangles. We're gonna use a dematting spray. We like EnviroGroom. There's many different kinds of dematting sprays you can buy. Um, it's a good idea to wet the coat down. It helps the brush glide through it easier. It also has a little bit of silicone in it, so you're, uh, you're not pulling too hard. It won't hurt the dog, and it'll help you um, from breakage. You won't get a lot of breakage. If, if you've wet the hair a little bit, it's more pliable. So we're just going to mist it. Make sure you don't spray their face. Just mist it a little bit till it's a little bit damp. And you want to do the same thing. Pull all the hair up until you can see a line. And then brush until you see there's no mats in here. And you think you've got, if you do encounter a mat, take a couple of strokes one direction and a couple of strokes the other direction. And that'll help you kind of get that mat broken out. You feel like you've brushed it pretty thoroughly and you don't have any matting in there, you want to take a comb. We use metal combs because they don't have static and they don't bend and break. Usually they're longer on one side and shorter on the other side. And you want to check your work with the comb. If the comb glides... <laughs> All right, Bella, you're doing good. If the comb glides through with no effort, you've done your job. If you get to a spot where the comb hangs up, that needs more work. Go back with your spray and your brush. Pull all the hair out and brush till you see that line. You don't hear it pulling on the mats anymore. And again, check your work with the comb. That one needs a little more work. If you do this once or twice a week, your dog will learn to love the time you spend brushing your dog. And it won't be a big battle. So, there's most of Bella's leg.